We are finally on to the last big area of my Encanto inspired island. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This island has been in the works for quite a while now, but it is finally time to work on the last area. And after recreating the Encanto bridge, the town, and of course the casita, let's now focus on the big river in the back. I won't blabber on for too long in the intro today. The entire Encanto playlist, as well as the streams that this consists out of, will be in the description box in case you're interested. And then without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. My idea was kind of that this might be a good point for this to be like the view. There we go. So my plan is we need to have a river in and of itself, um, but we also need to make it possible for maybe two people to stand on it just so maybe I could go in and like recreate that scene there. There's kind of like a waterfall to the left there. There's also this one pink tree. And then obviously the trees and shrubs kind of create this like inward slope shape thing. But these are kind of the vibes that we're trying to, to go for. I feel like we need to figure out this view first before we can then figure out a way to get here. Most of it is going to be like the, the river. But I also do obviously need a little bit of room back here to hopefully have like enough greenery to make that look correct. And then once I've got I've gotten like a little bit of river down, then we can go and check if the distance and the size and stuff is good. I grew this weed specifically. I think we might have to get rid of it. Um, but if I want to have like a little plateau in the center for people to stand on, that needs to be at least like a three by three. And maybe we can also check about that waterfall in case you stand here. But I actually think this might have to curve outwards. Then the waterfall needs to be like probably somewhere like here already, right? Okay, actually maybe more towards the left. Technically, the waterfall comes kind of from the side, but if we want to really see it, part of it will have to be kind of coming from the back or it'll be like two layers and one of them flows down kind of towards the front, the other one to the side. Maybe that makes sense. So that should be a big enough cliff for me to maybe add another bit on top of it. So let's try that. Oh my God. Mariposa is already here. Okay, so if this was the cliff kind of towards the front, would we see that enough? I think so. Now I guess we could have like maybe something here and probably to the front. This isn't enough. Maybe we'll just remove a little bit of this cliff here. So we'll make that at least like a double sided, like a double waterfall. And then after it would move outwards. Let me see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like maybe this is good. This is, this might be heading uh, into a decent direction. Who knows, who knows? Okay, I don't know if I've got enough room over here, but I'm, maybe we do for like a few trees anyways. You know, you don't even see the river at the minute. You could move the entire viewpoint thing a little bit over. And we want to try this with another double here. And then we're going to add like a second layer to it. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I need to move this stuff further towards me maybe? I can't really understand or imagine how much room I need for the tree stacking there. I mean, that's actually, that's probably decent for tree layering. We might have to say goodbye to this wheat though. And then, I mean, we can bring all this further to the front also. Just like a tiny bit, you know? So it's just like this much more to the front. Okay, let's try and attempt to save this for now. <laughs> Nothing like saving the weed. All right, and then what if this actually goes out more? And then I still don't have a little moment for them to stand in the middle and I don't have a way to get here just yet. You know, so this is kind of the viewpoint. Yeah, I think we might have to move the, the waterfall situation a tiny bit further to the front. Now you can definitely see the river. Okay, let's see about this. Okay, I think that still works. You know, the one in the back would still come forward. I feel like that works. We might definitely have to remove that weed then. If I want to replicate it the way it was before, it kind of went like this then straight for a little bit and then i guess curving downwards even kind of like this and then i don't know this this part in the middle i don't know if that was cute or not like that and then that was rounded yeah kind of like that we would have to remove the tall weed but i think you know what let's do it okay so this is kind of where we currently are at with like the waterfall and stuff I'll just go over here for a second. I need the water to go further to the back. Like just, I need the river to be wider probably. So like at least like this, right? And then I just need to check kind of what is cute. Okay, let's just pretend, you know, let's just pretend for a second. Because mm -hmm. I feel like that's a good moment for the platform. Potentially even a tiny bit, little bit further to the left. 
Okay, so this here, let's make that go straight for a little bit longer. Oh my God, all them butterflies. Okay, I still feel like it almost needs to be wider, but then maybe I just, I shouldn't. I need to remove the weed. That needs to be path anyway. The weed has to go. To be fair though, the more we make it wider back here, the, the less like trees we can use, but I'm gonna try and make it like a tiny bit wider because right now the platform also couldn't be rounded, which isn't great. Let's see if this maybe works. I mean, we could also make like a random shape somewhat, you know, it doesn't have to be like a perfectly rounded on all sides type of thing. It could be something like this. I don't know. I think maybe now I kind of like it. Okay, wait, I want to try to bring that waterfall a little bit further over. Maybe I guess, wait, if I do it like that, that could also be a waterfall then. I know the cliffs need vines. I, they will, they will get them. Okay, so this could be a waterfall and maybe this can also be a waterfall, but then not everything can be connected, I believe. Oh, it can be connected. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, the waterfalls, I feel like honestly, Animal Crossing is a bit more dramatic with those waterfalls than I feel like the Encanto ones are. I feel like these are a little bit more laid back. Yeah, but it's okay. It can't be like a perfect replica. There's one unconnected waterfall up here, which isn't great. We could make another waterfall here and then just have that one end. I get this. I get this weird thing about unconnected waterfalls, you know, so like this way. Actually, let's check it out. General layout. A check, more or less, according to the picture reference, where they're standing, that is where the trees kind of go inwards. I feel like that's one of the most important things to re like recreate here. So I need to maybe mark that part. I don't, I don't know how to achieve that. Probably just with second stage trees, right? Oh my God, that's exactly where the rocks are. Let me just maybe put like a little terracotta tile. Oh God, that's gonna be tough. I feel like there could be a little bit of overlap. So if this is a tree or like, wait, no, actually more overlap overlap in that. We can also bring them further to the front. Okay, so these are gonna be like small trees. There could be something here. So here, here, here. We could make, I think, this here a tree. Mm -hmm. I can also help you with the tree planting in that area because growing them would be a little annoying as they're too close to each other. Oh, you were actually very correct about that. If this stays like that, that actually is kind of annoying because I can't put anything on top of the cliff, but I can't really put anything much closer either. So do I bring it out or do I bring it in? Okay, because this would be the first tree, right? If this cliff here stops literally on that layer and then just continues over to the left, that can be a tree as long as we bring that cliff out further. I don't want to use the cliff tree trick. I've never used it. And I feel like I kind of don't want to start now because it scares me. Maybe this is also good for a pine tree. Do we think so? Oh, can this be a tree, you know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, see, and then that can't be a tree anymore. Apparently this can be a tree though, which I can't really move towards the front. I can move it towards the front if I can remove a bit of cliff which means I would also move this tree towards the front, which could work. Do I need to save my tree spots before I open up for you, Chrissy? Will they disappear once you've come over? They should stay, okay. Oh God, this is confusing, hold on. These are all gonna be second stage hardwood. This one's gonna be like a third stage, maybe. Coconut, maybe this could be like a bamboo. So we should be ready for you, Chrissy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, we'll start with uh, hardwood trees in all yes. of basically these three, two spots okay so all of these were a number are hardwood yeah okay. just i feel like maybe this one in the back right that might be a that chrissy <laughs> oh sh sorry <laughs> i'm gonna come back and the area is gonna be done yay all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm already dancing can you put a fully grown coconut on the two sand spots maybe and then i will stunt i don't Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's the issue. The coconut trees need to be taller. I don't know if I want to go for the for the coconut trees then. I mean, maybe we can keep this one here, but like maybe let's get rid of that one. Maybe another third stage hardwood and then maybe the third stage bamboo back here. Uh -huh. Maybe this one needs to be a second stage also. Just me ordering Chrissy around. It's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm, uh, maybe a third stage bamboo here. Oh yeah, that's good. I feel like the coconut kind of destroys the upward slope. Oh, uh, maybe the bamboo is nice because it's like taller. Yeah, but like, I mean, hmm. Like for example, these two back here, I would do like fully grown hardwood. Yeah. Just to add some height. Yeah, I think so too. 
Maybe the one in the very back, like just the third stage though. Yeah, I like that better. Like maybe this one could also just be like a second stage. This is not even where I stand usually to look at that spot. Maybe I should go to the cliff. Oh, oh my God. See, I feel like the bamboo kind of throws me off. What if we change that fully grown to just like a third stage hardwood? also on it actually that could be too tall let's try it though it's a little tall why did you plant that pink rose i just saw <laughs> just noticing that now. yeah okay so i feel like that's not bad but maybe too soon like what if what if that one is a second stage but then the one to the front is the third stage oh oh no yeah so that one back and then the one that you previously changed the hardwood maybe that one as a third stage bamboo okay but maybe that's okay. Uh, now let's change the third stage bamboo that's on the right hand side into a third stage hardwood or a fully grown bamboo. Also, also good. Do we think maybe is okay. The hardwood that's in front right now. Is that a third stage? Yeah, right. Yeah. Is that on a sand tile? Yes. Can we try a coconut there maybe? Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Now I was thinking maybe this one here should also be a coconut, but that wasn't a sand tile. So you might just have to put one yeah, on the... Okay. Yeah, I'm planting it on the beach for you. I'm, I'm going to actually here. grab that and put it in the back. Where do I sign up for the design services? I know, right? I'm going to need this all the time now. But maybe that's like a good start. So um, what do we put on the cliff then? Can we try just like a second stage hardwood? Oh. I think that might be okay because in terms of like layering, there's still going to be a coconut tree and then there's going to be like a maybe a sandy behind this one. And then there's another tree spot behind this one now, right? Yes. Maybe a fully grown hardwood. I think I like that. Maybe like, is that here? I can't tell from the front. Maybe there, like a fully grown hardwood. Okay. I think I like that though. I think that's a good starting point. And then I think we're going to build like a cliff here so that we can get even higher. I'm going to yeet you for now, maybe? Yeah, Appreciate welcome. it. Hug. Bye-bye. So now let's go ahead and fix up the tile stuff and I guess remove the numbers and stunt. Okay. So here goes a coconut. Yep. Yay! Okay, we're we're gonna have to remove parts of this, I think. This is too much here. And then we need to figure out where to have an incline. I don't know. Alrighty, so what was I looking for? Tree standy, possibly, which I actually kind of, I kind of doubt that I have it. Oh, I have a tree standy and, oh, a pine tree. I need to customize the tree. And I guess this is where I wanted to try the pine tree. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, see, because it's like actually a little bit... It's a little bit small. And then what isn't small is the standy. I actually feel like that one might be too much here. I guess option number one, there's a few. We can put it there. Wait, it, oh, wow. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Yeah, not everything is about you, Tree Sandy. <laughs> okay, this is the issue I think we had on Storybrooke. <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> Uh, where I think the time of day is also not great because of um, the reflection, but I genuinely just think it's too it's too tall. Okay, well in that case, maybe it's better to have it like in front of this hardwood, but like towards the left, you know, because that's not gonna be great either. Oh yeah, but like if we shift this towards the left, that might be nice. We're just gonna jump a couple hours back just for the just for this pink tree item. Can you believe I'm doing that? Oh yeah, see that's what I meant. Okay, let's try and push it over to the left then. So it'd be like this, but the other way around. Can I place it like maybe from this side? Is that all I have to do maybe? Yeah, it is. Alrighty, okay. It's a bit random, but I think if we can maybe hide the tree stump, actually I don't think that's horrible. That could be the rounded part of a cliff, but then I almost feel like I want to bring this further to the front so I can have another tree like perfectly in line with the others. But maybe like this, maybe that's what I thought. And then that could be another like small hardwood. Just because I don't have amazing, amazing abilities like Chrissy does. I'm just gonna steal one from the left hand side and try that. Yeah, I think that's good. I wanna have another hardwood somewhere to the front here. Should that be also like a second stage then? Once again, this is gonna be perspective stuff. Oh, this could be a third stage, right? Ooh, or does that hide the coconut tree too much? I'm like a little torn on that maybe. It could also be like this here. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that doesn't... Mm. Okay, no, I prefer the previous one at least for the second stage, I think. I think I kind of prefer this and then on the cliff now could be something else. Yeah. <gasps> 
three yellow butterflies in this shot right now, plus a tiger butterfly, plus a blue one. They're like paid actors. Yesterday after the stream, I just, the only thing I did was I kind of just brought that cliff a tiny bit further out over to the right hand side, but it's like, this is probably not how it's gonna end up staying because I don't like that shape. There's like a little bit of path at the very bottom right before it goes into the river basically. So I kind of also want to include some pathing. I think I'd like to have an incline outside of this frame. I'm going to start up my island designer because I do think we just need to remove parts of this cliff for sure. Ooh, should it be sideways? You know, like that could be the incline. Okay, and then I think I, th I wanted to bring this in a little bit more also. Okay, like this might be fine. You just see like a tiny bit of cliff in the bottom corner. All right, well, I have like a, wait, hold on. I got a little bit of an idea. If that's a cliff here and you just kind of stand there, actually, maybe that's not bad because it's almost like that little split rock or like mountain, you know? Okay, let's see if we can make this into like a cute cliff on the map. I feel like for map purposes, we have to split these into two, into two uh, cliff thingies. What does this look like? See, cause I feel like that already looks better on the map, you know? Just that tiny little split there that's probably not gonna really be nice when decorating. I feel like that looks better on the map though. I love how there's like two little coconut trees exactly on the same line. That's just great. Looks like the river is doing, oh, really? If I see the coconut trees as the eyes, I can kind of see, oh wow, I can kind of see that. And then the the stone thingy in the center is the like, oh, I don't know where I saw two Chrissy. We're not going to mention it. Was it this little island there? Because if it was this island that I saw too. Oh no. <laughs> or we don't see it, okay? It's not there. Oh God, check mod chat. That's never good. Oh my God. <laughs> Persephone. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. I love how Bummy's like, aw, aw, so cute. Anyways, I'm going to talk to Nook, okay? <laughs> Let's build an incline, please. And then uh, we are going to go and also do the natural one again. Incline being built. Do I have any ladders left over? Nope. Okay, we should craft one then. Here is a ladder. There we go. So I think landscaping is done, except for like maybe this cliff back here. Since I have done all that work to, to save up this tall weed here, maybe I should try to also keep it now. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of pathing here. We've got a little bit of dirt path, that's fine. I think we're gonna get started just kind of here with tulips literally everywhere. And then we can always go back in and like remove some like what if this was a little bit of path Ooh, different slightly different shade okay i don't know if i like this by the way got that butterfly to the left though yeah mm, let's go ahead and craft a boulder and then i don't know what color i would want that to be do we want that to be yellow because the pink is i think not the right shade let's try with the yellow maybe Ooh. Maybe that's good. I think I kind of like it. Okay, I'm gonna make like maybe two more, two or three. I think I still kind of prefer the yellow. Maybe the pink is the, like, maybe that's a smidge too much. I'm not sure I love that code. Maybe just the green filler codes that I've got, hold on. Some yellow would be cool, yeah. I kind of think so, maybe two. Okay, I can see it kind of going places. A eh, question, so I did this thing here uh, for the casita where I kind of pretended as though the path up on the cliff was still kind of part of the downstairs path, right? I think I might do the same thing for this also. So like, you know how you stand here and then it kind of almost seems like that's, that cliff is um, cutting into the path. So I guess we just add a couple of tiles here. A corner piece there? Or we might have to bring it a little bit further out, actually. Oh, actually, wait, that's good, I think. There is a code I just thought of that I used on Meliora that might be good for when we place like the butterfly models directly on the tile. Oh, there we go. And that's exactly the one that I want. I think that's cute, right? I think that's perfect. Okay. I was just thinking maybe we could include some yellow, but then use like the Cosmo maybe on this beautiful structure here and then maybe also this one here could be like a yellow one right and then towards the trees in the background we're mostly going to do like green fillers to be fair i think that is definitely enough like yellow then with like the boulders the glowing moss also kind of being yellow i think that's good let's continue with the pink then this over here obviously should also be like a butterfly model on top of that and then maybe just actually in front of this I want to see if that works. Like if this here is the circle, you might actually be flying like backwards maybe. And then you here still need to be a butterfly model. And then this one might be a good 
tulip. Okay, I don't think I like this tulip here. I'm gonna put one here though. Glowing moss stool. Oh, wait, can I not put anything on top of the glowing moss stools? Ah, uh, I'm so confused sometimes by what you can place things on top of and what you can. I might want to create one more glowing moss boulder and kind of put it off to the right hand side. Oh yeah, wait, you, can, you can't see that. I was gonna say, I like that, I think, but you can't see it. I think that's kind of a nice, a nice frame. Potentially a, a ruined seed, not in this color. Am I out of butterflies? I believe I might be out of butterflies. Maybe further back? Although now I don't like that it's like right in the middle of those trees that we so carefully, I mean Chrissy so carefully planted. Okay, let me think about that. Okay, let's put a couple of weed fields around. I definitely see a ton of sky right here, which I absolutely hate. I think I want to have something like halfway here. Weed field. Yes. Let's grab some vertical board fence and see. I think maybe a little bit of fencing is not the worst idea. We still need to definitely fill all this in with like shrubs, I think. Truthfully towards the back there, I don't think we should continue the pink, right? Maybe white and green is good. Okay, this could be a tree, this could be a tree. I don't know if I wanna keep this cliff the way it currently is. I think adding something more here could be quite nice. These aren't like necessarily good tree spots if you look at them like this, but you're not. You're, you're basically just gonna look at them from a distance. Oh yeah, that might be something like smaller-ish, like a bamboo shoot as like a third stage. And then maybe here could be a coconut. This is gonna be something small. Let's make this like a second stage, second stage hardwood. And then this might be a second stage. I guess the hard part about this spot right here is that I kind of want a little bit of foliage if I can, but I also don't want to cover up any of the flowers. You know, I mean, this could be a tree, but I don't know if it should be. I feel like I don't like the fact that it steals from the Cosmo. I can't really move it back unless I change the cliff. I could, I could, I could take away from the cliff and then put the tree here, like this here maybe? Do we think this could be a coconut tree? Uh, and then I've kind of put some stuff around the upper cliff over there. So we're going to see how those turn out. Uh, it's just barely showing up like here. How about this, the tree? I want to see if that's enough. Let's just plop a couple of hardwood start trees here and maybe a couple of bamboos so I can use these the next days. And then maybe some coconuts to the front. Let me see if I can do that. Sugarcane, I'm going to need so much more of than I could possibly think. All right, let's go and skip two days so that we uh, can start like stunting trees. Oh yeah, that's fine. You don't really see it if you go into picture mode, but there's a little bit of foliage going on if you stand like this. Okay, not sure how I feel about the coconut trees. I'm thinking that the, the one in the background maybe needs to actually be the bamboo tree. This back here, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Like this entire thing could have just also been connected and filled in. But then maybe back here, maybe I can just kind of include a tiny pond. Maybe like one layer of uh, of trees around it. But you know, just something small, kind of like this almost. Just in case you happen to stand over here. It's okay. All right, it's a tree spot. Planning it is. Can this be a tree? See, good thing I picked up the trees because now I know it can't. Have I mentioned recently that tree spots can be a pain? All right, question. I did use the vertical board fence on the other side, right? So I think we should probably do the same thing here. You can look through the gaps in the fence. I know, I know. That's why we're going to be adding some trees in here. Let me look at this from the front and then I think I can determine, determine this a little bit better. Something here to the back needs to be fully grown for sure. Maybe this here needs to be a coconut. Let's try coconut here too. Maybe this can actually be a second stage bamboo. And then this is going to be a hardwood, so it can be like quite covering. And then bamboo, like a third stage maybe. Okay, and you are also going to be stunted right away. Okay, so trees towards the left here, I think are, are actually done. Uh, I'm not going to have any more like towards the front here by the path. Right above my camera, you know how I planted that hardwood tree kind of behind the other one? You don't really see it. But in my books, that means it needs to move further to the, to the right hand side. And I was just thinking, how about a tiny tree stump? Here. Okay, let's think about this cliff here. So this definitely needs to be part of that cliff because of the tree. And then maybe because it looks a little bit better, I'm gonna add another tile right there. Yeah, and then maybe we just add another tree 
somewhere over over to the back there. Bamboo. And then more trees. No tree up here. And then maybe this is gonna be more more fencing. Oh my god, how many flying like bugs are there right now? That's a that's too many, that's too many bugs. They know what movie they're in. No, no, no. You you all go though. The butterflies can stay. The other bugs I don't want. <laughs> But we have a couple of trees planted now. So let's go time travel. Let's go. Okay, so we need to kind of decide which ones need to be stunted now, right? Okay, so this will continue to grow and these two in the back there. Anything else is like stunted and I think I'm okay with this also. Oh, there should be another tree here though. Regular hardwood and then probably, I'm assuming that this is going to be third stage. Trees are starting to blend together. Oh, and we've got like flowers spawning now that I don't want. Alrighty. Oh yeah, and then this one. I think that's all the trees stunted. All of this still needs to kind of be filled. I've just kind of started growing some sugar cane, but it's not really spread out the way that I want. Let's just go and get a couple of the tulips and mums, and then we'll see if we can maybe phase this out towards the sides a little bit. First things first, we're not going to need this rock here. The thing is, I don't even know if I want to use any other flowers back here. I think we could get away with a couple more like glowing moss things though, right? Because there's still like magic stuff happening. Maybe we'll make this one here a shrub too. And then maybe this here could be one more butterfly with the little circle that I got specifically for this area. There we go. And you here should also, let's also try to use those the circle for this. If this area back here doesn't really have any sugar cane, I think that's okay. All right, do you have any open tiles anywhere here? Oh yeah, I see one right there to the, to the side here. Let's make this one a little clump clump of weed I see because like this stuff could be another tulip I think let me try and like phase these out <laughs> okay well I guess one more like here maybe and then maybe one more goes like here okay but yeah okay fine oh my god the waterfall is so loud okay I might just randomly plant like a few pink flowers still let's do this one as a tulip maybe this one as a as a mum then okay tulip tulip mum tulip kind of wanted that to be a tile higher up there you go okay how much do we have what okay we've got one more tulip and one more cosmo that we should spread somewhere i could maybe switch out this here for a cosmo let me see that from the front oh yeah wait i think that's actually not bad i feel like behind the boulder on the right hand side this will be it this will be the pink tulip. There we go. Okay. Maybe around this part and maybe around like the lake will spread some of the sugar cane. Okay. We're going to do a little bit more pink. It'll be hard to walk around in this part, but I kind of don't want to waste too much brain power on these spots like very close to the cliffs because I mean, if you tilt down, I'd like there to be something, but let's be honest, who is really going to see this? And even if you do, are you going to judge me if this is mostly weaves? Okay, Timbra, sorry. Let me just plant a little, let me just plant a little weed under your, your butt, please. And then this will be a weed and this will be a glowing moss. Okay, here is maybe another pink one. Is that too much pink? I mean, always, but you know, hold on. I've only used like tulips back here. I feel like I could incorporate a couple of, a couple of mums maybe, uh, maybe like here. Maybe here. How about we do another pink flower in the very back there? Maybe this, another sugar cane? Glowing moss? Glowing moss? And then maybe I can I can grab some like yellow and white mums. Or green and white, not yellow. Green and white? I think this is probably an okay amount of pink. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, a little bit of sugar cane. Again, these are tiles that are not really going to matter, but I still want to fill them just for completion's sake. I think this entire part to the left might be filled if we like it like this. I think I'd like to have some type of like weed fill situation behind the coconut tree there. Like maybe like right here. Okay, I'd like to have the very tall, very tall glowing moss. Thank you. And then maybe let's do a pink tulip right there and maybe one more here. Maybe one more here. I have one more. Okay, and then let's spread around some glowing moss. Yes. <sighs> Do you sometimes get this thing where you get so hyper hyper focused on something that at some point you have to literally like look away and take a deep breath because you kind of forgot to breathe for a little bit? I always forget to blink. Yeah, and then your eyes start to like water and you're like, oh, oops. <laughs> Actually, wait, maybe we can make this another pink one. Watch me not have like this one, one more pink tulip. <laughs> yes. I think maybe that's the tiles filled, y'all. I Maybe this is... 
this is them. This is them filled. And with the tiles filled, that means it is time for the final tour of the area. We'll start right here next to the casita so that you see the entire path like leading up to this. And then we'll go through the mountains here, which this actually I decorated as part of a no commentary long play video on my second channel. I will also link that one down below in case you're interested. And then we can venture over into that river area. So either you can immediately head downstairs basically and see this entire thing like up front and stand in the center of the river and kind of explore all those pink flowers that I've used on this island. Or of course, you can also go ahead and go to the viewing platform. Easiest is probably to uh, get here via this this little ladder here. And then here is the final look of the area. So we recreated that slope of the trees. Um, there's a whole bunch of pink flowers and some yellow flowers. There's of course a lot of yellow butterflies that kind of hide in between the flowers. We also recreated the waterfall towards the left and we also added that pink tree as well with the tree standee which i actually ended up liking much more than i thought and then as promised you can go over to the other areas like this little sunken part here in between the cliffs with this little pond or of course the other side as well so you kind of have to walk past all these cliffs which is a bit interesting but you can do it and in uh, the streams we also actually went back to the beach and we added much much more pink there as well so it now just flows like seamlessly onto the beach as well and then you can basically make your way all the way through these uh yeah shrubs and trees and whatever else we planted but of course the main attraction is this view right here look at that little butterfly on the right hand side i love when this happens like when they actually show up it's just meant to be you know and with that thank you all so so much for watching today i hope that you enjoyed the building process make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe because next week or maybe the week after we'll have the final island tour along with the da release i'm very nervous but also very excited i will hopefully see you in that video and until that happens, I hope you have an amazing time. Bye, everyone.